session on marginal costing in the last video of marginal costing i have explained some new important points in this video i will explain the important points regarding key factor so say the example number 8 ss manufacturing company provides you the following details regarding its two products x and product y particulars product x product y selling price rupees 500 and 800 direct material at rupees 75 per kilogram 150 and 300 direct labor at rupees 5 per hour rupees 100 and 180 variable overheads rupees 50 and 80 fixed overheads total rupees 3 lakh 80000 condition 1 in the following circumstances which product you will recommend for manufacturing when direct material is limited when labor hours are limited number 2 assuming direct material is key factor and only 16000 kg of material is available and any of the two has maximum selling of 4000 units decide optimum mix for maximum profit see in this example two key factors are available first direct material and second direct labor so when direct material is key factor it is related with the kilograms and when labor hour or labor is key factor it is connected with the hours so we have to calculate first contribution per unit then we can calculate contribution per kilogram or contribution per hour so see first calculation it is contribution per unit so statement showing contribution per unit particular product x product y contribution means s minus v so first selling price 500 800 less variable expenses under that first direct material 150 300 direct labor 100 180 variable overheads 50 80 total variable cost 300 and 560 so contribution per unit is equal to s minus v so 500 minus 300 it is 200 in product x in product y 800 minus 560 so 240 contribution per unit now we can calculate contribution as per the key factor so first when direct material is key factor and when material is key factor we have to calculate contribution per kilogram so contribution per kilogram is equal to per unit contribution divided by per unit kilograms so for the product x 200 divide by 2 because here in the product x for the production of one unit 2 kilograms are required so it is 200 divide by 2 so rupees 100 in the product y per unit contribution 240 and the required kilograms for the production of one unit in y is 4 so 240 divided by 4 it is 60 so now we can give the production rank when direct material is key factor so you compare the contribution per kilogram so in the product x contribution is 100 while in the product y 
contribution per kilogram is 60. So in the product X, contribution is more than the product Y. So first, company can produce product X, then company can produce product Y. So first production rank, it is given to product X. And number 2, it is given to product Y. Now see the important point is here. The contribution per unit in the product X, it is 200. Y in the product Y, it is 240. So the routine contribution is more in product Y. But when material is key factor, it means there is a shortage of material. So in the condition of shortage, company can produce first product who has the maximum contribution per kilogram. So here in the product X, the maximum contribution is there and it is rupees 100. So company can produce product X first then product Y. Now number 2, when direct labor is key factor. When labor hours are limited, we can calculate contribution per hour. So, per hour contribution is equal to per unit contribution divided by per unit hours. In product X, 200 divided by 20. So, it is rupees 10. In product Y, 240 contribution divided by required hours. 36 it is rupees 6.67 now you see in the product y total per unit labor is 180 and the rate of labor hour per hour is 5 so 180 divided by 5 so we can get required hours per unit and it is 36 so now the production rank. Here also in the product X contribution is more than the product Y. So first rank is given to the product X and second rank is given to the product Y. So company will produce product X first then product Y. Now the answer number 2. Assuming direct material is key factor and only 16,000 kilograms of material is available and any of the two products has maximum selling of 4,000 units, decide optimum mix for maximum profit. So here we have to calculate optimum production mix on the basis of material is key factor. Already we have given the rank, it means production rank. Product X has the first rank and product Y has the second rank. So first we will produce product X and for, from the remaining material we will produce product Y. So total available kilograms 16,000 less used in the production of product X, company can maximum produce 4000 units of any one product. So here for the X, company will produce maximum unit 4000 multiply per unit required kilograms, it is 2. So 8000 kilograms will be used in the production of product X. So remaining 8000 kilograms, it is available for the product Y. So units of product Y is equal to 8000 divided by 4. So 2000 units. So maximum production mix or optimum production mix is for the product X 4000 units and for the product Y 2000 units. Now we will calculate profit as per the optimum production mix. So statement showing profit as per optimum production mix. 
two columns are required particular and rupees so already we have calculated contribution earlier so directly we will use contribution for the calculation of profit so contribution in product x is equal to 4000 units multiplied per unit contribution 200 so 8 lakhs plus contribution in product y 2000 units multiplied per unit contribution it is rupees 240 so 4 lakh 80000 total contribution 12 lakh 80000 less total fixed overhead or fixed cost it is given in the example 3 lakh 80000 so maximum profit rupees 9 lakhs so as per the optimum production mix company can get maximum profit of rupees 9 lakhs so this is the example of key factor when material is key factor or direct labor is key factor so thank you very much for watching this video take care see you again in the next video